Hello, brothers and sisters of the light. I am Julie Joy of the Young Light Workers with another message for you from Anne and the Angels. And the title of this message is Enjoying 3D. And they begin, my dear friends, we love you so very much. A few weeks ago, we talked about your eternal nature. You live forever, dear ones. So do all beings. Humanity, the animals, the spirit of the plants, trees, and earth herself are a part of the beautiful energy field that cannot and will never cease to exist. One with your creator, you immerse yourself in this 3D world for a while, then expand back into love, your true nature, when you make your exit. When you transition to spirit once again, you have a body that is a projection of your consciousness. But it is not the dense body you live in while on your physical earth. It is a body made of light. Although you can hug and eat and do whatever you like in the heavens, there's an awareness of yourself as an energy and an awareness of the one love that lives within all. On earth, you immerse yourself in amazing biological bodies. They are magnificent miracles. Every cell is a conscious being, very much like a little animal, always wanting to love, always wanting to surrender to the steady stream of guidance, information, and healing from source. That is why we implore you to love your bodies, love your cells and reaffirm to them that you believe in their ability to recalibrate to their original design. When you live in fear, you pinch off the stream of light. When you live in anger, you do the same. When you find something to love, appreciate, or just enjoy a moment of relaxed contentment, you open once again to that flow and allow your little cells to once again receive their instructions straight from source. That said, when it is time to expand back into the heavens, your cells, having done their job, retire their 3D forms as well and merge once again into a greater consciousness that you are. There is nothing in the world of form that will last forever, dear ones, while everything in the world of spirit will endure for eternity. This is not meant to frighten you, but rather to inspire you to enjoy this beautiful and temporal reality in which you are journeying for the time being. Enjoy the exquisite feeling of being able to touch your own hands in the physical world. Give yourself another hug. Enjoy the miracle of your own skin. Enjoy the cool feeling of a splash of water on your face or a sip of tea. Enjoy your senses. They are unique on your planet Earth and certainly an experience not to be missed. We also encourage you to take time regularly to go beyond the sensory world and tap into your eternal being. Connecting with the Source can help you truly enjoy your physical reality as you feel and know the love behind it more often. After your meditations or prayers, enjoy your 3D reality. Bring your spirit into it fully by living in the present moment with as much love and appreciation as you can. Don't do this to become holy. Don't do it to achieve anything. Do it because human life is an exquisite experience not to be rushed through, but rather to be savored. You will absolutely have senses in the heavens beyond your wildest dreams. But there's something exquisite about being immersed in your physical, sensory reality that is not to be taken for granted. We even find it difficult to put into words. In the heavens, there is love beyond your wildest dreams. There is music in the air and colors beyond your physical spectrum. Everything colored with love is more beautiful than words can express. And yet there is something so precious about your 3D physical sensory reality that you will treasure once you come to the other side because it is an experience that is unique, precious and beautiful and oh so tangible in ways that are hard to describe until you expand back into light. Right now upon your earth, you can put on a pair of goggles and visit any location on earth in a way that seems very real. You can see, hear, and touch the spaces that you witness from your own home. Your computer can make these locations seem perfect and fill them with every conceivable beauty. 
Yet how much more interesting and enjoyable it is to take off the goggles to use your own eyes and senses to experience the imperfect, real 3D reality that you must drive or fly or walk to see, that you anticipate, and that you embrace with a sense of adventure. How beautiful it is to experience the world through your physical senses. This analogy has its limits, but we are simply encouraging you to enjoy your physical world while you're in it, knowing, of course, that there is so much behind it that you cannot see. You dear ones who have transitioned are there with you, often walking right beside you. Your animals and spirit are running around joyfully, visiting both relatives in heaven and those they love on earth. If you break a glass, a spirit of love that held it together simply releases into the ethers once again. So when you find yourself fearing loss of anything or anyone, breathe. When you fear losing money or a job or finances, breathe. Remind yourself that all 3D things are temporary, but the spirit of love that lives within them lives forever. If you lose a loved one, they live on. If you lose a job, the good parts of that job live on as well as even better and you will find the spirit of the better job in a new one. If you lose a little money, the bank account might temporarily be a little lower, but the spirit of abundance lives within you, just waiting to be focused back into form so you can enjoy it with even more appreciation. Dear ones, treasure your earthly lives. They are a precious experience, even if they are often a challenge. There is not a moment of your life that will seem wasted when you see it from the heavens someday. In the meanwhile, enjoy the grass under your feet, the warmth of sunshine on your face, the smell of your dinner, and the touch of a loved one, because your time on earth, however long it may be, is an experience to be treasured. Don't rush to the finish line. Enjoy what you have right here and now. And in that bliss of the moment, you and yourselves remain open to the well-being, joy, abundance, and love that is part of your eternal flow. God bless you. We love you so very much. And this is, of course, a message from Anne and the Angels. This lovely message was channeled by my dear friend Ann Albers. Her own website is visionsofheaven.com. Please stop by there and see all the variety of the marvelous things that she offers. And also, you can sign up for her weekly newsletter. That's where I get these messages bright and early every Saturday morning. She has an upcoming workshop coming up. I may be able to post the words to this message below in the show more section, but you can always see these on her own website, visionsofheaven.com. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, and it always brings me such pleasure and deep gratitude to be able to bring these beautiful angelic messages to each one of you. Mm-hmm.